Hey, how's it going? I wanted to do a quick video on what I'm doing in the floor as I get to an area where it's too thin for the plywood. So this is a three quarter inch OSB. That's the full length of the OSB. And as I get to the end of the room, I need to lose about half of that thickness. Now I, I had used carpet shims, but uh, I kind of like this technique a little bit more. So I'll show you what I did here because um, I'm halfway through this one. So this is the face of the OSB. This is the back of the OSB. And I marked on the wall where I need it to be level. And it comes out that I need to lose about half of the three quarter inch. So what would that make it? Uh, let's see what, uh, three quarters is uh, six eighths. So I need it to be three eighths of an inch. Uh, thick and uh, you know I could get smaller plywood try to layer it together but I decided to just go at it with the planer and uh, this is what it looks like with the planer so uh, you can plane this stuff down I'm wearing a mask and, gog and goggles because obviously none of this can be good for you it turns into this pretty splintery shavings here it's not the kind of shavings I normally see off of a nice piece of wood. This is the planer I'm using. Um, it's this Bosch PL1632. And I'm just using the bag because I'm out here in the garage. So I got a little setup here with my little MFT table and a giant bucket full of sawdust now. It's amazing how much sawdust this produces. So all I did was uh, mark around the edges um, where I want the thickness to be. So thicker on this side, thinner on that side that's going towards the wall. Maybe it'd be better if I move my hand out of the way. So it's basically a giant shim. You can kind of see that. The reason there's a second mark is I had to mark it and then trans transcribe it because the part that I want to have faced up is up here. So I just marked where I where level was and then I just reversed it and did a mirror image on the bottom and, and cut that out. And then you can see on this side, it's almost the full three quarter inches. And I've planed it down a little bit. And as you go towards this end, you can see I need to plane down some more. So uh, a good technique, I think. Um, this OSB doesn't do too bad. It's not hard, to, not hard to use the planer on. Just really dusty, definitely wear a mask. Uh, I'm wearing a mask right now and uh, have a giant bucket and an area that you can sweep up because it throws shavings everywhere. And uh, this MFT table is super helpful for this kind of thing because I'm just doing half of it at once, but just put the piece on there. And then these little clamps will, uh, it's a lot easier when you're not one-handed, but these clamps come down. And then if I had two hands, I could do it, but they ratchet down and then you hold your piece. Um, so I'm going to play in this side and uh, might do a quick video putting it in. All right. Hope that helps.